Hello guys, my name is Eric Ben Wilderman, and welcome back to the next episode of the Outlast DLC Whistleblower. So in the last episode, we were being chased by a cannibal guy, and uh, we left off in this hallway. Uh, okay, we don't go that way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so he was trying to eat us, but I'm not very delicious, so I really hope he doesn't eat me. But anyways, let's just uh, continue going on, and I hope we've escaped him for good. We've been running away from him for a while. But I have no idea if he's going to come back for me. And look at that. We got some amazing reading material right away. Influencing human behavior. The potential use of psychochemicals in political action operations is well recognized. Okay, so they're, what, they're using it to like manipulate political people. That's cool. Although it has not been explored as thoroughly as might be expected, chemical division includes it as an objective of its program to be prepared to support or make such operations possible. Non-chemical methods of accomplishing political action operations are also included in the program. Alright, so they're trying to manipulate politics. Uh, present note, blah blah blah, present the above MK Ultra. Mortal Kombat Ultra! Excerpt to Technical Services Division for budgeting and authorization of continued research into research of Dr. Rudolf Wernick, asset 14866, and Project Wallrider. Autopsy of recovered test subjects shows chemical content of bodies, metallic tumors, evidence of subdermal combustion that indicates heavy psychochemical dosage. Alright. So they're talking about the wall rider and psychochemical dosage and, and stuff like that. And they've probably created the wall rider because they're just really- HOLY JESUS! Look at that troll. He was just waiting for me. He heard me and he's like, You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna fucking wait there behind the door. And I'm just gonna look at him just to scare him. Isn't that hilarious? That's hilarious. Yeah, thank you, guy. You go and you bang your head on that door. You know what? You're gonna die of blood loss if you keep on doing that. I highly recommend against it, okay? I highly, highly recommend against it. But whatever, do whatever you want. Just try to jump scare people and bang your head on doors. Whatever makes you happy, okay? Whatever makes you friggin' happy! Feed me. Feed me. Feed me. Oh god, don't tell me he's down that hallway. Okay, fuck you. Fuck you, 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 fuck you. Okay, fuck you. And by fuck you, I mean- NO! DON'T SHUT THE DOOR THAT WAY, YOU IDIOT! And by idiot, I'm probably the idiot here. Okay. Um, there's like nowhere to hide, but there's a fucking vent. Good! Go in the vent! Go in the vent! Okay. I I'm assuming he just went into the room the previously that I was in. Okay, and we're gonna be smart, because we're gonna come out this way. We're gonna come out this way, and we're gonna run through here! Home run, baby! Why? Eric Van Wilderman, home fucking run! Oh my god! I'm amazing. And there's- it's blocked, that's great. And it's locked! Oh my god, it's blocked! And locked! Blocked and locked! That's a horrible combination! Horrible fucking combination! There's another vent, though, and I can go to the locked room. This is obviously the way to go. It's gotta be the way to go! My Eric Van Wilderman instincts are telling me yes! That's right, I am- Oh! oh, oh. <gasps> Even the little things, like him fucking just falling down is jump scaring me. I don't know what- oh my god, oh my god, he's right there. He's right there, holy shit, holy shit. Oh, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. Even though I know it's locked, but maybe he can bust through because he is one crazy MF. That's right, I'm trying to censor my swearing. Instead of motherfucker, I say MF. But I just said motherfucker, so I guess it doesn't really matter that I censored it, does it? Well, yeah, now you know, okay? Now you know. Um, okay then. There's a nice little, uh, religious room right here. Let's go pray. Let's go pray to the, uh, obviously non-existent god in this world because, you know, all this crazy shit has happened. What? There was a big shadow that jumped across me. God does not exist in this insane asylum. At Mount Massive, there is no god. There is the wall rider. I guess he's kind of like a god, but he's not a god. I mean, he's just, he is just an experiment, isn't he? Although, maybe he isn't. Maybe there's actual, actually some kind of Go spiritual... <laughs> no, you're one of the asshole security guards that was, like, dragging me away, aren't you? I am trying to get you killed, actually. Hello, everybody. A cannibal dude, there's some fresh meat right here. Right here, there is fresh meat for you. Come on, if you run fast, I'm sure you can get him. <laughs> I'm such a dick. I just wish death on this guy. Even though, well, he did do some mean things to me. Where am I supposed to even be going? Okay, well, there is this door here. That's locked. That's great. How about here? 
You know what? That door kind of looked like it was barred because there was those little bars there, but it wasn't. It is a security guard door, and it can be barred, but it wasn't barred. Oh, well, that's just effing great. <laughs> I feel so weird censoring myself. The effing bee! That effing bee- oh shit, do you hear that noise? It's this little, like, buzz cutter saw thingamajigger. Okay. <gasps> Where the fuck is he, though? Where is he? Where is he? Are you in here, body guy? No. This looks like a nice little area I should be in, like a nice little server. Oh, there's a battery, though! Fuck. What? I can't- oh, Jesus! Where are you- oh, are you? oh Jesus! Oh, my- Where- where'd you come from? What the- what? God damn it. Remember, guys, shut your doors behind you. When you go into your bedroom, shut the door, because you never know if a cannibal's gonna come in and eat you. Remember that. Okay, let's, uh... I have five out of five batteries. That's the most I can have. I am balling with batteries. I'm a battery baller. That's right. Oh, fuck. 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 Fuck a duck a luck. Shit a dick a lick. <laughs> okay, let's just get the fuck away. Let's just run to the yellow brick road, wherever the fuck I'm supposed to go. Okay, that's blocked. But you know what? I have learned my lesson from this game. It's always look up and always look for cracks. I've learned that in the first two episodes. That's right, guys. I'm learning, okay? And I just got it. I just found the solution right away. Do you love it? Do you love it? Okay, so I got the gas thing good. Is there anything else in here? No. Nope. Alright. So I'm assuming now that we turn this gas valve, we can uh, use it to go through like all of the previously inaccessible areas, wherever that is. But we gotta get past this asshole again then. I can smell you. You smell like rotten meat. You smell like a cannibal. Oh shit, there he is. Oh my god, oh my god, fucking god, oh my fucking god. I can't believe he didn't see me. He didn't see me because the intense music didn't play. Oh, now he sees me. Okay, fucking hurry up. Open the fucking door. Open the fucking door. Open the- close the door. Good. Don't close it on the other side because you've been prone to do that before. And that's just silly. You silly billy. Okay, good. We lo- <laughs> In. Your. Face. That's right, in your face. Okay. Oh, now we're back in this hallway. I see, it's all interconnected now. We're just gonna go through all these gas chambers. Gas chambers, that sounds really horrible. It sounds like we're in like a Nazi prison camp or something. And I shouldn't say that, that's bad. Okay, anyways. Now we're outside that. Oh, would, this night vision does jack all here. This camera is not gonna help me in any way. Oh God, big open areas. Where do I go? Big open area. Don't know, no, 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 no. Big open areas confuse me, okay? Straight linear paths don't. Although this game isn't, I mean, it's linear, but there are like alternate paths to, to the exit because you gotta sneak past enemies and it is coolly designed like that. That's right, cool. Oh, what? <laughs> what? God, is, I guess I, I tripped and fell. Uh, the, maybe I'm tripping out. Because I was experimented on, I don't fucking know, I don't know, but why'd you do that? Why would you do that? Okay, well I guess this is kind of straightforward, just look for breaks in the fence, just jump through holes! Okay, let's just, what? You're gonna have to make a little more sense, you're gonna have to say more than like, What did, did you see a guy over there? Am I, am I just tripping? Am I see, oh, okay, get the fuck out. <sighs> I'm just fucking tripping, I'm just fucking, I don't know what's going on anymore, let me in. Oh wait, I don't want to go in there, there's blood everywhere. And by blood I mean tomato juice, because it's obviously tomato juice. Hello? Yeah, give it your best shot, you're not going to be able to. Swearing is bad, okay? You gotta censor yourself like I do, say F, F, F this, F that. Wow, that's great. Came all the way over here for a clock. Okay, it's 9-9-9-0-9. 9-0-9. You know, that's so weird that we say 9-0-9, isn't it? I was teaching my children that at school. Like, oh, but there, if there's an O in front of it, you say 0-9, 9-0-2. But it's just so weird. Why don't you just say 9-2? Because, you know, like, 
Many other languages, you never say oh. Well, I guess I couldn't say many, but in Korean, you just say like, maybe han shi gubun, which would be like one oh nine. You don't need to say oh. You don't need to say yong bun, yong gu bun, right? That's just weird. So, anyways, that's like the most I've ever ranted about in my entire life. Well, not entire life, but maybe on my YouTube channel. Usually I just focus on the game, and I never really talk about little side stories like that. But that's just a little tidbit of information about Eric Van Wilderman opinion! Yeah, okay. That was kind of dumb. Anyways. Oh, this is the peaceful looking dude. Hey, man. You're the guy who just stares at me. Or you're a guy who looks very similar to the guy who just stares at me. But either way, look at he just looks like he has a blank look on his eyes, like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm just fucking high on drugs, his, his pupils are all dilated, and yeah, I know, he just, he just doesn't know what the fuck is going on. He doesn't know what he wants. Okay, understandable, Mr. Dude Guy. That's right. That is my clever name for a Mr. Dude, <laughs> Mr. Dude Guy. Okay, Mr. Dude Guy, I'm gonna forever call you, holy, it's a ladder. What do you know, sometimes you just look in the right places. Okay, where are we going? No, I don't want to go up here anymore. I'm sick and tired of this upwards place. Let's just sit in this fenced-in cafeteria. And let's have a break of that Kit Kat bar. Okay, let's just follow this path. Oh, guys with fucking machetes. No, don't kill me, okay? Hey, man, don't kill me. You look kind of dumb, and your dick's hanging out. And just everything about you is giving me a bad vibe, so, you know, I shouldn't do that. Shouldn't do that. Alright. <gasps> God, they came in here. I wonder, are they gonna attack me? They look peaceful. You know what? <laughs> he, he is a little crazy. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna sneak up behind him and scare him. I think he's gonna jump at me. Boo! Oh! <laughs> I kind of half expected that, so I wasn't like that scared, but... <laughs> oh, whatever. I wanted to try it. I wanted to see what happened. That is what happens when you scare a crazy person. If you know a crazy person, never sneak up on them. Let's get back to there. Okay, so we uh, got past those guys. Thank God. You know, I actually uh, kind of ran into them once. Too. Was... Oh my God. They're playing human head basketball. That's just sick. That is just sick. Look at that guy. Was that the guy with the blank expression on his face? Hey, you want a piece of me? I don't want a piece of you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. Sorry, I want to get a closer look at this. Human torso basket. Get the fuck away from me. I don't want you to play basketball with my head. I'm out. Uh, what? Did I just run into them. I'm sorry. I don't mean... <laughs> don't run into crazy people. They'll kill you. I should have learned that. Although these guys, they're crazy, but they're not like... Well, I was gonna say they're not too violently crazy. Towards me, anyways. But they did kind of just, like... <laughs> got off a guy's head. And, uh, you know, play basketball with it. But it wouldn't really bounce. If you threw a head on the ground, it wouldn't bounce back up. So what, what's the fun in that? Okay, cool. Some more reading material. Kurt, we've got another one. And I'm not sure you're gonna be able to check it off as psychopathic proximity disorder. Security guard all the way up in the admin block is our latest non-patient employee to start seeing Wernick's fairy tales. He was never directly exposed to the engine, never even made it below level one in the building. It would be an enormous breach of protocol and security if doctors were speaking of the wall rider within hearing of a contracted security guard. So a security guard knows of the wall rider and seems vanishingly improbable that he would stumble onto such an obscure mythological story on his own. It's too similar to Dr. Samuel Case or the others before him. It's one thing for formally sane medical personnel to fall under the delusions of their patients. It's another thing entirely for those beliefs to be, I don't know, airborne. We need to talk. Okay. So people are knowing about the wall rider without them thinking they're coming into contact with information about it, but maybe they're actually seeing the wall rider. Who knows? There's some sort of proximity something disorder. What? So you go, whoa! That looked like the same basketball dude. Jeez. Luis! Nothing. What about you? Well, you gotta check all possible. Where the hell? Okay. That's where the hell I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Hello, ladder. Why am I going up? Oh, yeah, I gotta find the radio. I'm going to the radio. I keep on forgetting my main objective. I'm going to the radio in the prison. They'll tell you it's science, but it's not. They were waiting for us. In this place. In this place. Billy under. Billy. <gasps> Billy? Billy, that's the oh, name of the wall rider, isn't it? That's Billy is the name of the wall rider. I remember that. 
Holy shit. Well, what do you know? Billy understood. Billy did. That's why he turned into the wall rider and just went batshit crazy on everybody. Okay, this doesn't look good. Why don't we follow where the guys ran into? Nope. Alright. <gasps> no, okay. You go into there. Fine, I'll go into the last door then, you, you dinks. You little dinkalinks. Jeez. Alright. Wait, did you just... I swear to God, I just heard someone say Walker. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I, if Mr. Walker comes out at me, I'm I am not prepared to handle this shit. And what do you know? There's the radio. All right, guys, success, baby. Come on, help. Come to me. Come. To oh my goodness. Oh, it's this asshole. Come on. No. Of course, life would never be that easy. You couldn't just... I want to wail on your face! You couldn't just keep your mouth shut. You couldn't just play along. What, what, did I cause this or what? Do me a favor and die here, Park. You die. No, you're a die. No, you're a die. Okay, holy shit. You know what, guys? The voices are really quiet for some reason. I gotta change this. You can't change it though. This is good. This is volume. You can't change the voice volume up. That's stupid. That is stupid. Anyways, okay, whatever. <gasps> what? 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 <gasps> oh my God! It's Mr. Walker. No! 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 Oh my! <laughs> Fuck it. This episode's done. No way. Done with this shit. In the next episode, we're gonna face off against Mr. Walker. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. This game is just constant... Constantly intense. You know? I mean, the first Outlast was like this too. But there were at least, like, some lulls. Some. Not much. Some. Like, some puzzles. But this is just, like, in your face constantly. Well, the other one was too. But this more so. Okay? Okay, agree with me. <laughs> Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, liking and sharing helps me out immensely as a small YouTuber. I'll see you in the next video. As always, peace.